Hello guys, I'm back, and this here <coughs> is my new vending machine. Now, as you can see, it is now much, much more compact than it was, and just for a second, I'll give you that little quick slideshow. <laughs> Right, so, how does this vendor work? Okay, well it's exactly the same as the other one, except in this one I did make a mis little mistake, but it just means you have to press a button three times instead of pressing it twice, as you had to before. I'm just going to turn the sound up, because I've just realised it's not on at all, and therefore I won't be able to hear when things are ready. Right. So press button three times, so... Twice. And now three times and that should come on there. So... There we go. That's excellent. Now, press the button. Oh! Oh my god! That is so lucky! <laughs> and I get two golden apples! That is really lucky! Oh my goodness! <laughs> There's a one in nine chance of getting those as well. Insane. Right, okay, anyway, this is how it works. So, I held off um, showing you guys how it worked before. Um, <clears throat> just because it was in a really poor state. This is extremely consistent, this design. So, actually, this should be good. So, this thing just creates cobblestone here, it's a cobblestone generator, and below this block, and just in there, is a piston. And piston extends when you press the button over th here, where it says push three times, and um, moves your piston along, um, down where this thing is here. So it went, firstly it went down there, then it went to where that cobblestone thing is now, and then it came to here. Um, I believe, I do believe, am I correct? Yes, I am. Um, oh no, sorry, it did go there, it did go there. Um, okay, now I'm not sure, but anyway, it, it did something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, it, it went there, that's right, that's right. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's that's it. Basically, piston got moved first here to here, second from there down to here, and thirdly down to here. Then the piston extended because a block update occurred in this section here, this section that I'm standing on now. And now this this here is a bud switch. Uh, so if I gradually broke this down, basically what you would see in this crack is a little bud switch. Um, this section was just to show you guys where I could have made it actually smaller. Um, yeah, there's the back, there's the front of the piston. Well, there you go then. That just goes to show, when, when a piston when a block updates here, it will send a signal um, down and out here, which will basically first, well, firstly, it'll send a signal back in here, causing the bud switch to sort of um, go back to its original thing. But then it'll also send a signal down here, which will send a pulse through this wire, and this will go. Firstly, it'll go down here and activate the piston, which would be here. Then, it would activate uh, this piston up here, followed by this uh, double piston here, 
and finally this piston to push the things back to here. Now this, once this has happened, um, twice, because the piston would have pushed it up the first time, causing the thing to cycle. Um, actually no, it would have just cycled just because of um, this delay here. Um, that's just a little cycler, cyclometer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but it, it just cycles, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, this, um, basically, then this thing will be replaced by that red block there. And we'll s allow a power to be sent down here, and we'll flip this RS null latch. And once this is done, w once this has done this, uh, flipping, then a uh, signal will be turned off here, which will turn on that power. Now this signal goes off into a an AND gate down... where is it? Oh, it's this AND gate here. And um, basically once the button through there has been pressed, <coughs> yeah, see this, the AND gate spans all the way across here. Um, but anyway, once this button here has been pressed on the other side, um, it'll turn off this wire. And currently this wire will be turned off. I can actually show this by um, doing this with my redstone wire. If I turn that off temporarily, there you go. So that will be off. So when I press the button, this will deactivate, turning on this torch. Now a glitch. Well, no, it's not really a glitch, but it kind of is. Um, this will firstly activate this dispenser and then I found out that wires in the um, area around this thing, even diagonally, will also turn the dispenser on when they turn on. So basically you got you get two apples for the price of one piston, which isn't so bad. But um, in, my l um, in my past designs this has been different. So, for my big vendor, I'm going to be using this, uh, not this design, the other design. <laughs> anyway, also, when the button has been pressed, it'll send a signal up here, which will firstly reset the RS NOR, secondly, <laughs> come down here, and push the piston forward one, so you can't abuse the system. So, basically, you need to pay again. So basically that's how it works. The items fly down here fastest when um, they, they're on ice. So if you look down there, if you can see, wait, there we go, it, there's ice down there, which just means the items uh, fly down faster. So this is my uh, vendor. As you saw, it's only uh, 17 by 19 by 19 blocks, which is incredibly good, and it's pretty compact, probably definitely could be compact further. Um, I think someone on the Minecraft forums is going to try and do that um, for for me, so that would be excellent. That would make this, it would just make it a much more usable thing because, I mean, although this is tiny, 17 by 19 by 19, that's also equally quite large. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Hopefully it'll be able to co be compacted down, maybe, I don't know, to um, uh, 12 blocks squared. That, that would be excellent. Uh, okay, so what I want to do in the end is create... Um, create a vendor which supplies all the items in the game. So you can see all these items here. Five pages of items. And there's buttons here. And I decided this is going to be how you're going to choose your item. Instead of saying I want bacon and having a button for everything, you'll type in the data value. So this is 14. And um, etc. So basically, if I wanted some 14, then I would go, I'd hit the 1, and I'd hit the 4, and then actually I need an enter button down here, 
So then I'll hit the enter button, <coughs> and then I'll get 14. And um, <coughs> if if I say wanted some of this type of sapling instead of this type of sapling, then what I could do is I could press 6 first, and then I could press the dash in the corner, and then I could press the 2 and then press the enter and then that would send me that thing so this is my idea this will be a massive project but hopefully it will be the f I guess the very first one um, giant vendor which has every single item in the game in and it's going to take a bloody long time to make but hey that's me I've already started on um, the design for the um, how you're going to get the items this will basically just be stacked on top of itself and this holds up to uh, 45 blocks uh, well it's 45 blocks across 6 blocks deep and I think um, what's that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks high um, but then again, this takes 6, 12, 24, 36 items out of the many we have. I mean, I think it only goes up to uh, cactus. No, I think it does um, ink sacks at the very end, but I'm not quite sure about that. Uh, let's see. Oh no, it does raw fish. So it goes all the way up to there. So it's done uh, about a page so say there'll be about five of these stacked on top of each other anyway thanks again for watching guys I hope you've liked this video I hope you like my vendor idea um, again hopefully people will get this and compact it I'm going to um, try and put a, s a schematic up somewhere I'm not sure how I'm gonna put it up anywhere but I'll try and um, put it up somewhere if I can and um, basically guys, I'll see, see you guys later. Bye.